This video was an attempt to install, review, and evaluate Kaki OS. On its website, there is a desktop version and a laptop version. We will download the latest desktop version. Kaki OS is a German distribution based on Arch Linux. According to its description, it aims to improve performance, and according to DistroWatch, it is the most downloaded distribution in the past year. We expect it to boot into the live environment. In theory, it has an installer based on Calamares, but the boot time is quite long, and it throws a fork off sandboxing error and stops. The computer I am using for testing is a few years old. It does support UEFI, but I will attempt to use Grub instead. However, I encounter the same systemd error. I proceed to check the source forge page, where some previous versions are available, although the latest version listed is from May of this year. I will try an older version to see what happens. Once again, it begins to load. I find it curious that it shows the same error at the beginning that some Debian-based distributions show, and it stops exactly at the same point. I thought that maybe Ventoy was causing an issue with the ISO, so I proceeded to burn it directly using DD on a separate USB. However, I get the same error and it doesn't even boot. I try again with Grub using this previous version, just in case that was the issue, but the same fork off sandboxing error appears. I attempted to modify the kernel line with the system restore parameter, as well as the no sandbox parameter and two others, but none of them worked. The error always occurred. Now, I try using the CLI installer version, which is from 2022. In fact, the mirror wasn't even active, but at least this version does boot into the live environment. I proceed to configure the installation, including partitioning, general settings, bootloader configuration, and desktop selection, but in the end, it gives a segmentation fault error. With not much left to try, I attempt the laptop version, hoping it at least boots into the live environment, but once again, the system fails to load. Finally, I try the oldest version from this year. I read on many forums that people had used this version to manage to install it, but it gives the same error and stops. I attempted to check the official Kaki OS blog and visited the release announcement from February of this year. There are several mirrors listed, but none of them have the elusive ISO image. I accessed the main Kaki OS mirror to see what had happened. I went into the ISO section, but there's nothing there only two versions remain, and everything else has been deleted. I don't know why. Even other versions are missing, including the CLI installer version and the KDE version. When I searched for a solution to the issue, I found people experiencing the same error, but no solutions are offered. In conclusion, Kaki OS is impossible. I have tested over 20 distributions on the same computer for comparison. Even Arch with the latest kernel worked fine. We will wait for a new version to see if it can be installed. For now, this is all. Stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.